All right, guys. I just thought I'd do like a thingy, some editing tutorials. So, yeah. This is on like this is it's for like my 400 subscribers. So I'm gonna start doing editing tutorials for you guys. So yeah, and today we're just gonna be doing screen pumping. If you don't know what that is, hopefully this would do it. It should do it. If it don't, it's a queer. As you can see there, it's pumping as like the screen's pumping and that. So can do it like in many ways when the guy's in the air spinning but I just like to do it when the guy shoots no hopefully this should do it for us well it's a bit laggy because I'm recording I think yeah I am right let's get on with this and yeah I was um, I'm using a song called um, That's Sick, Too Late To Say No So yeah I'll just get rid of these, wait a minute Oh balls Fuck it right. Come on don't, don't be a dick Just, just come on yeah, I don't want to do that actually Get this on here. Right. Get this. Get the um, the song that you want, and just like where the guy shoots. Just wait there, wait there. Let's see if I'm actually got the right place. Right. I need to go forward a little bit. You know where the guy shoots because it'll just come up with that, like, with that there. And to get your sound wave on, just press LL. Yeah, I've got the right place. And to get rid of it, just press it again. Now, what you need to do, press your clip and t type in slider and in effects and presets and just drag it onto your clip. And now, since you, now you've got that, press your clip and press E. Then this will come up. Just press that little arrow. Then this will come up. So all you just need to do is press Shift, Shift P. Then position will come up. Then press well, hold Alt. Then press that little key thing. Well, timer then this should come up just get rid of that and type in wiggle oh. open brackets 9 comma then get this little squiggly thing here and just drag it over to the slider then tight and then put a end bracket like at the end oh, Go away. Right. Now you've got that. Um, click the timer on the slider. Press S. Then press the timer on the scale. Then press U. Then it'll all just come in the, the thingy. Like all in one. And now all you need to do is go forward five or not five, six or seven frames. So I'm just gonna go seven. Six, seven. Right now you've got that. Go on your scale and type in. 130 or 125 I'm just doing 130 for this tutorial 
then on your slider type in 70 or 65 I'm just doing 70 and now all you need to do is hold down shift and control then press your right arrow key twice to go forward seven not seven 20 frames now go on your scale and type in zero then on your slider type in zero oh well not zero i'm just sorry about that type in a hundred or whatever your uh, um your video size is and then highlight the keyframes and press S F9 or right click keyframe assistant then easy escape and now you should be done Let's see if it actually works this time if it don't then just try it out for yourself as you can see looks amazing in uh, uh, montages so uh, yeah Let's see if it actually works when it starts like playing if it done it's gear <laughs> amazing so piece there guys amazing Well, you could see it a bit, but not a lot. So, guys, hope you like this tutorial. Leave a like or a comment. It helps me out a lot. And, yeah, if you want more tutorials on, it, like, After the Effects, like, editing clips, just leave a comment down in the comment selection. And, yeah, guys, I really appreciate it. So, yeah. Thanks a lot guys and see you all later.